Hello, Leopards, and welcome to ESPN, the Everything Super Positive Network. This is your weekly update, and I'm Mr. Invinbo, your host. We have a great show for you this week, and it has been an exciting week, to say the least. This was a super positive week for koalas. Scientists have recently discovered that koalas often get water by licking rain from tree trunks. That's new information. Until recently, scientists believed that koalas got all the liquid they needed from eating the leaves of the eucalyptus plant. This discovery came as a result of many years of citizen science, asking ordinary people to report on what they saw out in nature. In over 12 years of reports, every time someone watched koalas in the rain, they saw this behavior. One koala can even be seen licking the tree for over half an hour. That's one thirsty koala bear. In local news, Mrs. Stout had a great week as her class made a beautiful collage for her in support of Teacher Appreciation Week. She also shared some outside time with her daughter reading together on the beach. Miss Marin, with the help of Mrs. Jedlowski and Miss Crossan, is sending out bitmojis to her class this week so that they can be part of their students' days, even though they can't be with them in person. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. You got troubles and I got them too. There isn't anything I want. Parker already had a chance to swim with some adorable seals on the beach last week, but this week she got to dive with some dolphins. Mrs. Papp's dog is still sleeping on the sofa. Mrs. Francis's dog got out for some extra exercise. Miss Balistrieri hosted a birthday party for her cute pooches. Ernie and Cecilia turned one, and Harley turned four. We also got an update from Mrs. Brown's dog. Take it away! Hi, boys and girls at Lincroft School. This is the old, distinguished, handsome Rowan Brown, the oldest of the brown dogs. I just wanted to say hi and say I hope that you are all doing well. Things around here are the usual nonsense. Mom's working in the dining room. I used to beg for food in the dining room. Now, there's only paper and Chromebooks in there. Anyway, it's supposed to be beautiful out. So go on outside, get some sunshine, and have a great day today. I'm heading out myself just to loll around in the sun. Bye. Oliver Riley sent in this video of his cat showing off and reminding us that, hey, our feline friends need some shine time too. And now for something else super positive, some comic relief from our very own Mrs. Bogart. Thank you, Mr. Mbimbo. Well, it's time to tickle our funny bone once again with our weekly knock-knock jokes. Ready? Knock-knock. Who's there? Alex. Alex who? I'll explain it to you later. Here's another one. Knock, knock. Who's there? Wooden shoe. Wooden shoe who? Wouldn't you like to hear another knock, knock joke? I just so happen to have one. Knock, knock. Who's there? Cash. Cash who? No, thanks. I prefer peanuts. Well, that's a, oh, wait a minute. I think that last joke was a fan favorite according to my laughter meter. But that's all for today. Remember, laughter is the best medicine and keep on smiling. Back to you, Mr. Mbimbo. Thanks, Mrs. Bogart. Those jokes were great. In sports news, it has been a super positive week for mixed martial arts fans. With quarantining restrictions loosening in Florida, the UFC held a huge event on Saturday with two title bouts on the card at the ViStar Veterans Memorial Arena in Jacksonville, Florida. Another card was held last night, and a third card will be held this coming Saturday, all at Veterans Memorial Arena. It was also a great week in local sports for Mrs. Forte's daughter, as she finally got to get outside and practice her gymnastics as the weather made a turn for the better. Speaking of weather, 
Now to Mrs. Colella with an update on the weather. Oh my gosh, you guys, the weather is totally rad. I agree, Mrs. Colella. The weather today is totally rad. Now in entertainment news, we have a new game show by our very own Mrs. DeWolf. Hi, Mr. Bimbo. I'm back at it again. This week, we continue to celebrate mom with a game called Famous TV Moms. I had a picture to show you. Take a look. Do you know who this is? I was really impressed with the contestants this week. Make sure you come and check us out. Back to you, Mr. Mimbo. Thanks, Mrs. DeWolf. That game show sounds fantastic. You know, with people around the world still on lockdown, movie theaters are really struggling to stay in business. Many people are wondering whether the coronavirus will completely change the way that people see movies. Lockdowns around the world are making it very hard for movie theaters to survive. And with no money coming in, well, theaters are beginning to close down. But hey, since this is the Everything Super Positive Network, we always see the glass as half full. Audiences for movies still exist, but they're just stuck at home. In fact, because many people have free time on their hands, the demand for movies and on other entertainment is going up sharply. Netflix added 16 million new viewers during the first three months of 2020. That's an increase of almost 10%. And though it's only been around for five months, the new streaming service, Disney Plus, has signed up over 50 million viewers. Did somebody say Disney? This past Monday, the first Disneyland park reopened after being closed for three months. Shanghai Disneyland opened its doors and tickets sold out in three minutes. I have some cool facts to share with you about Shanghai Disneyland. It's located in Shanghai, China, and takes over 15 hours to get there from Lincroft, New Jersey. Number two, Shanghai Disneyland has the largest castle. Storybook Castle resembles the one at Disney World, but it's the biggest castle of them all, including a restaurant and two cool rides. Number three, there are three lands to explore. One is called Treasure Cove and is dedicated totally to pirates. I wonder if there's buried treasure. Oh, and number four, Shanghai Disneyland has many new rides. One of them is called Tron Light Cycle Power Run. It's so cool, I got to ride it this morning. Check it out. Thanks, Mr. and Bimbo. This is Mrs. Francis reporting your Disney news. Back to you. Thanks, Mrs. Francis. Gosh, Shanghai Disneyland sounds amazing. Well, guys, that about wraps up this episode of the ESPN Weekly Update. Be sure to check out Mrs. DeWolf's newest game show segment, like our videos, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Remember, check us out next week. But in the meantime, be sure that you keep everything super positive. I'm Mr. Invincible.